This is the first review of a Nintendo Wii game from Classic Game Room. Make sure the Wii is attached to you using a stainless steel chain. There should be at least 300 yards between you and any other objects when swinging the Wii. Do not stab, hit, or bludgeon other human beings. Don't try to eat it, smoke it, drink it. And after all of that, yes, we can get to the Wii Sports games. This is the disc that comes with the Wii. You have tennis, baseball, bowling, golf, boxing, and some training. Let's go to bowling. And as we see here with the Nintendo Wii, the user interface is friendly, well-lit, inviting, almost childish in a way. I created a me of myself and then I wanted to make a me for my bowling partner, my dog. You can't create a me of animals, so that eliminates dogs and squids. So I made Stella to look like one of the characters from Charlie Brown, I think, with Princess Leia buns. Let's get to the gameplay. I've only played a few Wii games as of the recording of this review, and I have to say that Wii Bowling is my favorite. You use the Wii controller, and I'll do a whole separate review on the controller itself, but the controller is very unique. And some games use it really well, other games uh, not so much, but Wii Bowling uses it to full effect. It's very easy to pick up and play, and it feels a lot like you're bowling. Sort of. Your fingers don't get stuck inside that germ-infested rental bowling ball. But, you know, aside from that, you actually move your arm in a way that somewhat replicates real-life bowling. And it's a lot of fun. I like Wii Bowling. I have to say that Wii Bowling is actually my favorite bowling game on any video game system. And I like Wii Bowling almost as much as real bowling. After I decimated Stella in the first couple games, I decided to create my character who I created for the Soul Calibur 4 review on PlayStation 3. I named him Wind Squid Foo. And then there's me. I felt that by giving myself a different outfit, maybe a different hairstyle or sunglasses, I could somehow enhance my bowling game. Let's see if it works out. Creating your own me is kind of interesting. I think they could give you a few more options on creating me's, but, but it's pretty cool. And I gave myself an outfit as if I was going to a Steelers game, complete with Amber Vision sunglasses, which are prerequisite for anything in Pittsburgh. The Wii characters remind me of those things, uh, I think they were the Fisher Price toys back in the late 70s, early 80s, little characters, you put them in cars and drive them down ramps and stuff like that. And as you got older, you'd blow them up with your Transformers and G.I. Joe figures, but they remind me of those, those little, those little Fisher-Price guys that just had a round head and then a cylindrical body. The graphics of Wii Bowling are, as you see on screen, not bad. They fit the style of the game and they fit the style of the Wii. I think all of the graphics on the Wii in general remind me of the Sega Dreamcast, actually. Nice throw! The great thing about Wii Bowling is the controls. You start by moving your character to the position that you want them to. You can turn them left or right, move them to the left or right. And when you roll the ball, you can actually apply spin to it as if you were rolling a real ball. Sort of. I mean, it's, it's, it's obviously different because you don't have the weight of a bowling ball uh, pulling down on your hand. You'll see I've adopted this style where I let go of the ball fairly late and it flies in the air until it lands and then uh, starts spinning to the left a bit. After playing a hundred games or so of Wii Bowling, that's just sort of the, uh, the routine I got into. And it really is amazing to me that the Wii and the controller and the whole system knows uh, every intricate detail in how you've moved your hand in this game. The speed of the throw, the aggressiveness of the spin of the ball. 
like spare. The whole thing is very addictive and a lot of fun. You can play with up to four people. Even if you only have one Wii controller, you can still play with four people, which is cool. So I was playing with a friend here who hadn't played before, so I'm crushing him. But he got better in the next game. Wind Squid Foo. That's not his real name. After a number of games, 216 is my record, and uh, that's a hell of a lot better than I've ever done real bowling. It keeps track of your skill level, and you see I've got to 1,024, and after you break 1,000, you get a new fancy ball. It has sparkles and stars on it. I called it the My Little Pony Dream Ball. Nice spare. Wanted to see if my game got better with the My Little Pony Dream Ball, so I... So I faced off against Wind Squid Fu again. And although I did not break 216, my new fancy sparkle ball did a fairly good job, especially at the end when I got three strikes in a row. We bowling is a lot of fun. The physics are very good, I think. In some respects, I think that Wii Bowling and then access to the Wii Virtual Console are the two reasons to get a Wii. This game uses that Wii controller that the Wii is known for so well. And I look forward to seeing some other games on the Wii that use it as well as this one. Because although the tennis was fun and the golf, Wii Bowling just seems to nail it perfectly. And one thing is for certain, Wii Sports Bowling is a lot better than bowling on the Magnavox Odyssey 2, and if you don't believe me, watch my review of that game. Nice throw. And one of the greatest features is that just like real bowling, you can bowl using the Wii controller in your right hand, holding a bottle of beer in your left hand. And that's really what bowling's all about.